Welcome to Marketing 10. This is a series of video lessons about marketing in 10 minutes or less. Today, I'm gonna to be going over Google Ads conversion tracking using Google Ads, Google Tag Manager, and Google Analytics 4, so you can track a confirmation page on your website. In order to get started, you're gonna need a Google Ads account, a Google Tag Manager account, and a Google Analytics 4 account. You'll also need a confirmation page on your website for every time someone either fills out one of your forms or completes an order on your website because this is the page that we're going to track as a conversion. So let's start in our Google Tag Manager account and you need to create a free Tag Manager account and go to your admin section here and then install Google Tag Manager on your website. You can do this by pasting this code in between your header tags as high as possible and this code immediately after the opening body tag. Once you do that on your website, you're going to have Google Tag Manager installed. The only thing that you'll need to do is submit your workspace after you put those two pieces of code on your website. So submit your workspace, give it a name, enter a description, and click on publish, and then you'll have Google Tag Manager on your website. From there, what you want to do is create a Google Analytics 4 account if you don't have one already. And what you can do is if you go into data streams, we're going to have a web stream. So for mine, my measurement ID is up here. So we're gonna copy this measurement ID. And then all you need to do is go over to Google Tag Manager, create a new tag. So we're gonna do Google Analytics for tag. We're gonna choose tag configuration. You wanna do GA4 configuration here. We're gonna click on it, enter our measurement ID. We don't need to make any other changes up at the top here. And we just need to trigger this on all pages. So every time someone visits any page, we want to make sure our GA4, Google Analytics 4 account, is tracking every single page on our website. So we're going to click on Save here, and then we're going to submit this version, enter our version name, version description, and click on Publish. And now we have our Google Tag Manager account installed on our website. We have our Google Analytics 4 tag through Google Tag Manager. So this is now on our website as well. So now what we're able to do is start tracking this confirmation conversion. So we're gonna come back over here to our Tag Manager account, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna to click to create a new tag. And the new tag that we're gonna create is a GA4 event tag. So Google Analytics GA4 event. So that's what you wanna choose here. And then you wanna choose the configuration tag you just created. So here's our Google Analytics 4 tag that we created in the previous step. And we wanna name this event. So I'm gonna name this event confirmation underscore GTM2. So that's gonna be the name of my event and this is going to be important and I'll come back to this later. Now here under triggering we're going to click on choose a trigger and what you're going to do is click on this plus sign in the top right corner to create a new trigger and for this we're going to do our confirmation page trigger and we're going to click on a new trigger configuration we're going to choose page view and we're going to say some page views and we're going to fire this trigger when the page URL contains, and we're gonna take confirmation right here. So you can just copy the end of your URL, and we're gonna paste that here. So every time the page URL contains confirmation, we wanna trigger this event. So we're gonna click on save. We're gonna name our event up here. So we'll do GA4 confirmation underscore GTM2. Okay, so you can name this whatever you want to, just so you'll remember what the tag is. But you can see here we're sending a GA4 event using our tag. We're naming it confirmation underscore GTM2. And then we're triggering this every time someone visits our confirmation page. So we're going to come back over here, click on save. And we need to submit this container again. Okay, and let's click on publish. So now we have our confirmation page trigger and our event that's being sent to our Google Analytics 4 account. So what we can do is we're going to come over here to configure we're gonna create a new conversion. So we're in here in our different conversion events. You can see I already have this confirmation underscore GTM, but you wanna create a new conversion event and name it the exact thing that we named it through Google Tag Manager. So mine was confirmation underscore GTM2. So we're gonna click on save. And now this will track every time someone visits this confirmation page on my website as a conversion. So it's a brand new conversion in our account, in our Google Analytics 4 account, and now what we can do is track this as a conversion back into Google Ads. So we're gonna come back over to Google Ads and we wanna click on Tools and Settings and under Measurement, we're gonna to go to Conversions. And what we wanna do is click New Conversion Action. So you might not have any conversions here yet, so what we're gonna do is click on New Conversion Action 
and we're going to import this. Now, in order to import this, what we need to do is make sure our Google Analytics 4 account is linked to our Google Ads account. So you can do that through Tools and Settings, under Setup, we're going to go to Linked Accounts. And then in Linked Accounts, you need to make sure your Google Analytics 4 account, so you're going to see Google Analytics 4, GA4, and Firebase. And if you're not linked, you're going to see a Details link here. So you want to click on the Details link, and then you want to make sure that you have a link here for your GA4 account. So you can see right now I have mine linked. If yours isn't linked, you should have an option to link it here. Otherwise, you can set up a new link. If your Google Ads account, Google Tag Manager account, and Google Analytics 4 account are all created through the same exact Google account, it's very easy to link these. You can also double check this by going to your Google Analytics 4 admin portion. Under property, we're going to scroll down and you're going to see Google Ads links. And what you can do is just search your Google Ads account ID here and link that account. So you can see right now I have my Farmhouse Goals Google Ads account linked here. So since we have it linked, we can come back over to Tools and Settings. Under Measurement, again, we're going to go to Conversions. And then we're going to click on New Conversion Action again, and we're going to click on Import. We're going to import from our Google Analytics 4 property. We're going to choose Web. Click on Continue. And then you're going to see our Confirmation GTM Analytics event here that we're counting as a conversion. We're going to click on that, Import and Continue. And now we're able to actually use this conversion action as something we can optimize for in our campaigns. So if we come down here, you can see we have our confirmation underscore GTM2. So if we click on this conversion action, you can see we can go to edit settings. So goal and action optimization, we have it other, primary action used for bidding optimization. You can change this to submit lead form, page view, whatever you want to. So you can choose the different type of category that you want. So let's just shoot contact here. We'll add contacts to our account default goals, and we're going to choose this as a primary action used for bidding optimization. So our bids will actually optimize to drive more of these leads. We'll click on save, and now we are ready to use this goal for our campaign. And the other thing that we can do is if we come down here to count, you can choose to only count one. So if it's a lead form, if somebody fills out your lead form twice, you probably just want to count that as one conversion. Click on save. You want to count every when it's a purchase because every unique purchase is worth money for your business. You only want to count unique leads. You can also do value. So if you know that there is a value of, let's say, $100 for this lead, you can set that value, click on save. The default value is just count it as $1, which basically every lead is counted as one. So we're just going to click on save, click on done, and we're ready to use this conversion for our Google Ads account. The only thing that we need to do is when we're setting up a new campaign or working on an existing campaign, you want to choose your campaign objective. So in this case, let's say I want to drive leads. And then what we can see here is under my convol conversion goals here, you can see contacts. It's saying not active because it ha actually haven't driven a conversion for this yet, but we can choose this as our conversion. So you want to get rid of these other options here. So any other conversion actions that you have, get rid of. If this is the only one you have, it's only going to show this one. So we're going to be optimizing for contacts, click on continue, and we can go through the process of creating our campaign. So if you have any questions about Google Ads conversion tracking, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.